Hello, I'm Quinn Keon. And I'm Rich Smith. And this is Real, Real Hunting. All right, we're out on another adventure. Um, been talking for the past couple of years about spending a day out in the boat with the bows, going after some of these carp we've got here in this area. Um, I used to shoot a lot of carp with my bow, uh, but I haven't done it for several years, so. Rich and I are out and about. We're gonna get the boat in the water, and a uh, beautiful morning, and hopefully we'll have some good action going on. This is the dam. We're gonna be putting the boat in above the dam upstream. And uh, the reason we're doing this is because we're after Pine River Charlie. <laughs> Pine River Charlie is the mythical, or not, carp. He lives in the Pine River between the Alma and St. Louis dams. And when I was in grade school, man, I'll tell you what, everybody talked about, I got a hold of Pine River Charlie last night. Broke my line right off. I know it was him. And uh, we're going to find him. And we're either going to catch him with our fishing poles or we're going to zing him with an arrow prove his existence. I, on the other hand, have never been bow fishing, uh, unlike my partner Quinn here. So I'm quite excited. Um, I also have heard about Pine River Charlie. So with, uh, with that in mind, we're going to go see what we can find. <laughs> in the middle of Michigan. Do not eat any fish. From this river. Pescado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready to roll? I am ready. A little chilly this morning, but it's okay. Not too bad. It's supposed to get up to 70 today. That'd be nice. Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. There's a bunch of them, Rich. Yep. Can you get in closer? Yeah. Oh, right underneath us. Oh, Quinn. Oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't even realize it was a shallow. Oh. That was so close. Did you aim below him? I did, and I shot below him. Huh. Oh, did I get him? <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, here they come. They're coming. This one's completely out of the water. I just saw his mouth. You got to shoot that one right there. Right underneath the green stuff. 
Dang. Seriously. Here comes another one. Right back there's one. I see him, but I'm stuck. What do you see, Quinn? He's right beyond. I keep seeing the water roll just a little bit right beyond this branch. Okay. Just waiting for him to come up. There he is. I'm going to stop where I can see him. Now, I took a shot a little bit ago and missed, and my reel completely came apart. I lost some of my hardware. So I had to reassemble it, but the problem is now it's way back against my bow and loose, and so my, I gotta watch my fingers so they don't get caught in the string here. Right down here under these. There's two right, right next to the boat, right here. See them? Oh, right over top of him, Quinn. Oh, Trying to aim low, too. <laughs> Whip my finger bad. Ouch. Might not work out for me. Right over top. Yeah, I seen it go across the top of him. Oh, right across the top of him. I see what happened. My arrow hit and deflected up. No go, huh? Oh, right over top again. Are you serious? <laughs> I aimed below the front, the, fr the front one. Yeah. There were three of them stacked up, and I tried to aim below the one that was closest, just in case it went over top of one. Maybe we'd hit one of the others. <laughs> I don't get it. That's funny. This is fun, though. I'm enjoying this. Oh yeah. It's fun. Well, I didn't whip my finger that time. That's a good thing. But I'm having to hold my bow with my with my forefinger, just my forefinger and my thumb, like that. Ouch. Because of my equipment failure. But. You hear that awful noise? That was, that was finger. your finger? Oh, man. Because I didn't get back. Ow. Dang. All right. I got him. <laughs> Fish on. Yeah, about time. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Just grab your arrow, and your barb should stay in, and you should be able to pick him up. Oh, nice shot. What nice a shot. Fish. Nice carp. Look at that fish. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> that's a nice oh. carp. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at that sucker. Definitely not Pine River Charlie, though. <laughs> he's not, but he's a good size one. Yes, he is. We should weigh him. Probably eight pounds. I don't think I got my scale. Do you have a scale? I do. Yep. Yeah. I'll dig it out. He feels like. Nothing to hook onto. Got those big old lips. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Oh wow! Eight pounds exactly. What did I say it was? You said eight. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I've got a lot of carp experience, Rich. You know, the more you're out here, the more you're gonna learn. <laughs> That's awesome. Now All right. Get this nasty guy off. Of yeah, we'll figure that out next. Good shot. Look at. Oh my gosh. See that? Never even got to him. Ah. Stop short. See that one? Got him. Nice shot. Get out of the weeds, get out of the... Uh-oh. We might have to go chase that one, huh? <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to chase that one. Nice. Oh, he got off. What? Yes, he got off. Did you screw your tip back down? I didn't. Oh. <laughs> so, I bet you that's what happened. Yeah, we loosened that tip to get the other one off. And it rotated hopefully it just rotated not fell off well you know what nice shot thank you <laughs> two in a row all right <laughs> now I'm stuck in the weeds I also had equipment failure for some reason this came apart <laughs> and uh, the threads don't go up far enough so I can't tighten it all the way down I don't understand 
what uh, what's going on here. But if I get some washers, I should be able to fix it. So, but I would suspect that you do get what you pay for. <laughs> this was about a fourteen dollar setup just to see if I enjoyed bow fishing, and uh, I do very much so. So we'll see what happens. It lasted substantially longer than my ten dollar setup. <laughs> yeah, got one. All right. I think I, sp I think I spined him. He's not fighting very hard, which is good, because I'm not sure how well my equipment's going to take. Woohoo! You know, the thing is, we've been missing a lot of shots today, and uh, with the refraction of the light in the water, you got to not aim at the fish as you see it. That's really tough. you got to aim way below the fish, and I mean like a fish that's within five yards, you got to shoot like a foot below him. Uh, it's really, really difficult to get the concept of, and then it's all a guessing game from there. So this guy's not fighting. Not much. Nice size fish, though, huh? I think he is six, seven pounds, probably. Oh yeah. Good shot. Thanks. All right. Well, that didn't even go in very far. Look at that. Yeah, it didn't. And I, I cranked, I just increased the poundage on my bow because I started wondering maybe if I hit a couple of these and just didn't go in because on the one shot, we clearly saw my arrow start to go and then it, nothing happened. So um, I think I'm going to turn it up a little more. I've only got one barb in them there. See that? Sure enough. I know what? it's okay. You're busy fixing your equipment. I I'm, know you didn't get my shot. I'm sorry. <laughs> that one stopped. <laughs> he just freaked out, huh? He flipped a little bit and he just stopped. I think you, did you shoot him in the brain? Yeah. That's awesome. Oh yeah. And you punched through him too. Well, there's not a lot of resistance up there. You know, they're, they're a thick part of their body. It's a lot harder to penetrate. Nice shot. He was coming right at us and I thought, well, no, I didn't blow right through him, did I? Yeah, let's see. I think I just stuck him. Oh yeah, you did stick him. <laughs> Uh, Just stuck him. Let's check him out. Oh yeah, you stuck him right in the brain. <laughs> okay, here he comes, Quinn. See him? Yep. Ooh, he turned just in time. He turned. Just barely to the right of it. You nicked his tail, actually, when he turned. We'll review the tapes and we'll see. <laughs> right. Wow. One left. Did it? I didn't see that one. Two of them. Over him. Did you see that skip? Over him. I hit way low too, Quinn. I know you did. I watched your arrow. When it hit the water, it just went zing and zinged right. It's part of the surface of water. Yeah, it's the angle. I mean, it's not just the light, it's also the angle that enters the water, you know. No dice, huh? There we go. I got number three. Um, second one I didn't bring to the boat. But, uh, oh, yeah, look at this guy. He's a fighter. Yeah. Zinged him right through the, it's right through where you need to hit him, right there. <laughs> Pure by accident. <laughs> I shot <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I shot so low, I watched the arrow go into the water, plain straight, and then into the fish. No idea how this works, but hey, I'm having a good time. He must be a good four pounds. <laughs> I think he's bigger than a four. I'd say he's closer to a six. No, nope, he's four. Four pounds. I think he's maybe a six. Five. I think he's a six. All right. Yeah, I, I just got one. Um, not a big one. Missed a monster just a little bit ago. I should have waited for him to get a little closer or turn. But uh, uh, either way, what a beautiful day. Having a blast out here. Zinging some carp with the bows. Yes, a lot of fun. Definitely. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, these things keep getting bigger when we get them out of the water. 
It makes me wonder how big that big one was. You <laughs> yeah. Know? Yeah. He's not too bad. No. That's a six pounder. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of that. <laughs> Quinn's been right every time he's guessed mine. So if the little ones They're are gonna six, lose him. Uh, if the little ones are sixes, what the heck are the big ones that we're seeing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can't wait to get a hold of one of those. All right. Right in front of you, Quinn. Right in front of you. Up on a little higher towards the stump. Now left, left, left. Two of them. Ah. He stopped at the stump there. I oh, know, I guess he's going. <laughs> Shoot. Out there. Yep. How'd we do? Didn't hit him. Yeah. yeah, I see where you hit. Yeah, well, look at I just pulled my line in. Look at that. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Luckily, we can see the arrow over there, so we'll go get it. You need one of them there book tying knots. <laughs> yeah. Knot tying book? <laughs> What'd I say? <laughs> 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 All right. All right. Let's pull anchor and go get some arrow. arrow. I can just string my other one up right now. The other one's not going anywhere. We can see it. All right. I couldn't see my one earlier. Over. Him. Just as he turned, I shot and it went right over top of him. Well, we decided to check this cove out. In this cove is a lot shallower. It's probably two, three foot of water. And they are all over the place. So hopefully we'll get a shot here. Got them on film? Yeah, buddy. Right. A little bit closer, we can make a shot. That is a big carp right there. That is a big carp. Going off my left side, it's perfect. Oh, it looked like you got him. Under him again? I didn't see it. I can't tell from I here. I can see his spine just sticking out of the water. So I shot right at that line, water line. They are just flopping all over out here. Except for we can't see anything back in the cove here. They got the water some corn up back here. They would probably just think it's long. It would give us quite a bit of cover from their perspective. Your bow's gonna shoot a lot farther than mine, so you might you might wanna give me a camera and try taking that shot. Well, we'll see what's happening here. That one is huge. I just looked back and saw the meat of its back sticking out of the water. Look at that thing. Wow. Yeah, I want to eat some. <laughs> what do you think? Should I... I think we take a shot at whatever you can. He's huge. I can't miss him. Oh, did you get him? Look at how freaking big he is. My arrow came off the rest. Put it back on, took the shot. Did you get him? Yeah. Woo! That's a dandy. Oh yeah, buddy. I hope I got it in him far enough to get him up here to weigh him. Oh, that's a dandy. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh, that's a big one. No, we don't have a net. No net. Oh, look at that thing. Holy crap. Can't get him up. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. You went through him, yeah. All right. I think I have more than one fish on here. You do? <laughs> <laughs> Because I can't pick it up, and that fish is right there. I think you're stuck down in the ground. That's what the deal is. No, my arrow's moving around, Rich. I is think, it? I think I got more than one around here. Oh, wow. All right, I got one. One big one. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I keep getting water on the lens from that dude. I got a lot through him. That is the biggest carp I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Figure out how to get this guy out of here. I don't want the stream to come through his skin. Good shooting. Thanks. That was tough. I like I just drew and came off. Oh my god. What do you think? He's a five pounder? <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet you he goes fifteen. Find River Charlie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> He's got to weigh a ton. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting my string ties and knots. <laughs> I thought I had another one under there because he was all the way up and I could see the end of my arrow and it wasn't coming. <laughs> One coming right at you. <laughs> All right, what do you got, buddy? I got 12 and a half. 12 and a half pounds. So those other ones we got that we were fishing, we were fishing were even bigger than that. Look at that. That's there you go. Right awesome. There. Let me get a picture of you too, okay? All right. Right there it is. That's what Sweet. we're after. Got them all over my my uh, what camera are we, case. What are we looking at? We're looking at eggs coming out of it. They're up in here spawning, and uh, this is obviously a female. And um, we got eggs coming out of it. Kicked them all over our equipment, probably <laughs> all over us. Um, all right, well, while I get this baby unhooked, let's talk for a minute about uh, kind of equipment you need to do this, because this is a lot of fun. Um, you don't always have to have a boat, because where I grew up, we just walked along the edge of the river and. We shot a lot of carp. Um, you need to have some decent fiberglass fish arrows. Um, really strong, flexible. Um, I've had this arrow right here since uh, 1988. And the other one that's in my quiver I've had since 1987. So that tells you something about their durability. Um, I did replace the head on this once, but anyway. Uh, the bow that I'm using is my old PSE Phaser 2. And uh, my first bow I ever got. I've had this bow since 1983, and I've shot some deer with it, and I've shot tons of carp with it, and uh, various other things. Been a good bow for me. My reel system cost a whole ten dollars. Um, of course, it did fall apart today, but we we figured out how to make it work. And uh, you really don't need a lot. You know, you could go like to a to a discount store or uh, even like in a pawn shop and pick up an old cheap compound bow for probably under fifty dollars. And uh, $10 set up with a reel, you're going to spend $10 on an arrow, and you're ready to go. It's a lot of fun. Good time. Uh. You got him! Yeah! I went all the way through him and the line cut him. The line cut him. Oh, he's off? He's off. Oh, man. The line cut him. Oh, look at that. Big one. Big one back out of water. I went all the way through it. Rinse it off and whap that one. Right up in the cove. <laughs> Can you see him? Yeah, I see him. Good shot, Rich. That was a big one. Too bad it got off. Yeah. It would be nice to weigh it, but he got he made the shot. That line just cut him. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was went right on through it, stuck to the ground. Woo! Oh, did he get him? 
How'd we do? Didn't get it. Thought I thought I blew right through it. It was turned kind of lengthwise toward me, but it was right at, right on the surface. <laughs> Maybe it glanced off, eh? It might have. Oh, nice shot. I don't know if I got him. I think I might have gone under him. The arrow dropped. Oh. The arrow dropped. Oh, bummer. <laughs> I thought for sure you had him. I thought so too. His back was sticking right out of the water. Just didn't. Just missed. I thought I hit it, but then I thought my, I thought my arrow came untied because it didn't feel like there was anything there. I thought I was just pulling line in. Whoa! That's fine, that's fine <laughs> River Charlie right there! <laughs> oh! That's did you a, see that thing? That's a dandy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that's a dandy. Look at that car! <laughs> He's, he's pulling the boat. <laughs> oh wow. He's pulling the boat. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that thing. Holy crap. <laughs> Got away this guy. He did not look that big. No. When you're getting ready to shoot. No. Not at all. God. <laughs> look at that thing. <laughs> oh, let's keep the eggs out of the boat this time. That's awesome. And let's weigh it before all the <laughs> before any more fall out. <laughs> I was gonna say, a squeeze of my finger with its gills, <laughs> crushing them with a bone, it hurts. Watch that Get by that. Try to get him up again, get her up again. What? 16. <laughs> 16. Slightly over, but 16. <laughs> That's awesome. 16 pound carp. It's the biggest one you got with a bow? The biggest one I've ever got with anything. <laughs> My biggest before this was 13. When uh. we got that in this area of river a couple of years ago, um, caught it on some corn. Uh, this is my biggest ever cart right there. 16 pounds. Look at that. <laughs> yeah! That's awesome. Yeah! Nice shot. Ah. Not as big as Quinn's, but hey, I'll take it. Ooh. Oh, barely got him. That's a nice fish, though. Look at that thing. That's at least ten. Yeah. And guess what? You don't. You don't get to have eggs. Yeah. Oh. Probably a ten pounder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is so nasty. <laughs> All right, eight pounds. Eight. Eight pounds. Wow. So mine was twice that. Yeah. That's just impressive 16. to me because that thing looks really big. He's good size for eight. Yeah. Yeah, eight pounds. Wow. Good shot. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. You got drag on that thing? 
barely. I don't want to break it. No, you don't. Yeah, buddy. Nice shot. Oh, he just broke loose. You sure? Oh, son of a gun. Looks like it wrapped on something. Yeah, but I seen the fish take off. Oh, crap. <laughs> Doggone it. That happened three times to me today. Wow, oh, that was a big one, too. That was a big one. The biggest one I've gotten so far today. There he is. Yeah. Nice shot. All right, nice shot. It's like about a five or six pounder there. Yep, definitely. Coming to get you, Rich. <laughs> Shooting too many carp. Right. Good one too, Clint. Good one. Wow. No drag left on this thing. Yeah. She's pulling us back out, Rich. Pulling the boat. That was a good shot. <laughs> that was cool. Definitely got to get a heavier duty reel for this. This little cheapo Zepco that was. <laughs> Nine dollars just ain't cutting it. <laughs> I've got the drag cranked down as tight as it'll go and she's still pulling the drag. She's pulling the boat out. She's pulled us 20 feet so far. And the drag too. <laughs> this one's probably big. This one's bigger than the one I caught last time. That's a nice looking fish right there. Oh, that hog. Oh, how am I gonna do this? I've been sticking my finger way inside the gill there to where you feel it in the bones and not in the gill bones, but the top of the. Oh, look at that fish! Yeah! <laughs> that one's a dandy. I get my arrow back through it. Here, you better weigh it while you got it picked up there. Uh-oh, it's getting lighter. We're losing all of her eggs. They're coming out right now, Rich. Seriously, I'm they're pour, pouring out of her. I'm hurrying. You just lost a half pound.
Can you see them coming out? Yeah. Look at them. They're just pouring out. Yeah, still. You lost a pound on her already. Holy crap, man. Probably would have been 14 before she started dumping the eggs. Look at that. Look at them just pour out. Good shot, Rich. All right. Thank you. Oh. I got my finger. How'd we do? Nothing. Yeah. Fish on? I believe so. What? You hear that thing smack? Uh-uh. What was that? I thought I nailed it. It was laying around the top sideways. I thought I drilled it right through him. I thought I saw your uh, arrow take off like a shot, too. I mean, after you'd hit. Wow, I guess not. <laughs> To get one. Oh yeah, buddy. Ah, yeah. yeah. swimming the other direction. Like you have to the Let's go forward so that I can. Okay, I gotta pull the anchor. <laughs> what? It's so tough because the water is completely mucked up. You can't see into it at all. You gotta wait for these things. You gotta wait for them to surface, and when they're surfaced, it's like a tenth or a twentieth of a second. And you try to follow their wake that they're making, and uh, make a quick shot. And then there's obstacles in the way as well, which we see here. <laughs> Oh, nice. He's a dandy. It's yeah. the average size we've been getting today. Yep. <laughs> Probably a male. Yep. We've been finding the males are a little bit smaller than the females. <laughs> Which is usually the case. <laughs> We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah! Is that the big one? Yeah. Oh, yeah! Oh, it's not that big. Oh. Must be a different one then, because that one that was on top of the water was huge. Good shot. Thank you. Uh-oh. I want to get wrapped up under there. It was a good freaking shot though. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. Nice. Nice fish. So, Quinn sees some fish on the other side of this brush pile and uh, we decided to take a small chunk of land and uh, see if he can get back in there and sneak up on him. Ah, mosquito. This reminds me of the UP.
Okay, here's where the fish are. <laughs> you were too quick, I didn't get a shot. <laughs> oh no, really? You have to do it again. Uh -huh. There. All right, nice fish. Got some mosquitoes going on here. Tons of mosquitoes. All right. Decided to take a break from the bow fishing for a little bit and uh, try some fishing fishing. And uh, we've always been real successful catching carp on the river here, just using corn, canned corn, and uh, that's what I got out there right now. And I had a hit. These guys are fun to fight. They fight a lot. They fight a lot harder without an arrow in them. <laughs> Four pounder, four or five. Yeah. Oh, nice fish. Not nearly as strong upstream here as they are downstream. Uh, downstream on the river where I grew up, the, the current is a lot stronger. I've got eight pound test line on and a four pound carp down there will rip this like nothing down there. Uh, this guy's really not fighting very hard at all in comparison. Probably because he doesn't have that current to deal with and he's just not as strong. Nice fish. That's a nice one. Yeah. That's my average for today. Wow. That is so much fun. <laughs> Holy cow. That is awesome. I almost shot this one over the stump. See him sticking up right there? Yeah, yeah. You should shoot him. All Set right. Your camera down. Okay. Unless you think you can't get him out of there with your line. Let's see what yours looks like, yeah. Good shot. <laughs> oh yeah. There. Yeah. Tree. Did you see it right here? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Holy crap. It was close. It was right there. <laughs> Get him? Oh, sweet. Nice shot. Don't let him get tangled up around that tree down there. Yeah. There he is. Well, let me try to get your arrow. I just saw it. 
All right, got it untangled. Good job. Yeah. Nice fish. <laughs> Another one. I don't know where we're at now with how many we have, but this is fun. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> Woo! I just saw this one. Oh, wow. The surface there. And I shot and I got awful lucky. Ah, that's probably one of the biggest ones I had today. Oh yeah, definitely. So, I was trying to match Quinn's 16 pounder, but fell short with a 13, but I think this one's pretty darn close. Oh, I can't even lift it out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good size fish. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, I gotta measure or weigh that one. Where we go? Here we go. I can get out of it. 14? 14. That's a nice fish though. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Good job. So we're dead in the water. <laughs> the uh, string from my bow as we went to retrieve my arrow stuck in a log got wrapped up in the trolling motor and the uh, 15 horse For some reason. <laughs> For some reason, the uh, the string won't uh, retract on it. Rich gave it a good pull to start it, and uh, it didn't start, and the string won't retract. So right now we're dead in the water. We do have one oar though, so <laughs> it's only about a mile that we have to go, and and uh, it's downstream, so I think we'll be all right. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna get it. Now oh, the pioneers had to do it by hand, just like that. <laughs> Okay, fasten your seatbelts because we're going to start hauling ass. We're about a half an hour behind schedule. Thanks to malfunctions. <laughs> Whoa, almost lost my rope. You ready? Oh, yeah. Off we go. Yeah! <laughs> All right, well, it's 5 p.m. Uh, we just got out of the river and. Uh, <clears throat> Rich picked me up this morning at about 6.45, so we made quite a day of it today. Yeah, yeah. It was a, what a great day though. Oh my yeah. goodness. We've been waiting to do this for, for about two years now, and we got out there and just kept going and going. We were lucky enough to catch them, I think, at the tail end of when they were spawning, so we could see uh, a couple different areas where they were rolling and stuff. And man, it, like Quinn said earlier, it was hard to quit. <laughs> we had such a great time out there. Yeah, we're both burned out, really tired, but you know, we push ourselves push ourselves all day because sometimes all we get is one day. We've been trying to do this for a couple of years, finally made it happen, and it was great. We got into a lot of fish. Yeah, we did. Awesome. So, thanks for hanging out with us, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>